All right, everyone. Today I want to show you how to build open um, loft platforms. Um, so I built this industrial style build and I really wanted to do something special for the staircase. So I wanted to have a landing, but I wanted to be open at the bottom just to have this nice industrial feel to it. And there is no way to do this uh, with using just stairs because you will never have a flat landing. And if you do this normally with platforms, you have a closed edge. So I use the special trick to make this work. And as you can see from the outside as well, it works quite okay. Some other things you can do with this is multi-level platforms. You might have to add some more posts than I did on these, but well, you know the drill. And a spiral staircase. For the spiral staircase, um, it's quite finicky in the heights you can use. So we'll get back to that later here you can see how the trick works i didn't finish this off this one i did finish off so i will show you now how to do this but i first will have to bulldoze this sad lot and i will build a room I would normally like remove a wall however this will camouflage some of the stuff that can go wrong or that is not as aesthetically pleasing with this trick so I'm just gonna play some lights instead so now let's place the platform we will want to use there and raise it up to the height we want it then we surround it with there with half walls all right so for example we want to use this platform now we want to make the walls disappear so we will want to use windows these are too small these are um, also a little small but these are too big and as you can see already now they have a shadow because it's inside um, an op a, a completely closed space. So what I could do is just make this one smaller, not the outside, no, this one, one smaller. Make the walls one smaller and use a different window. One that fits a little better. So I have base game, so I don't have access to a lot of windows, but usually these cover already quite some different heights. So as you can see, I will use these for this purpose. And as you can see, it's not doing what I wanted to do there. So here I use Alt to drag it to the place I want it and then I make it smaller because if I use Alt now and try to drag it, it jumps. If you don't want this to be this finicky, just don't place the wall. Just place the window on the platform while it is still um, there. And it is easier to place this way so I can do this and then this and if I place the wall now there um, why do I place it like this so you can use this on all the sides to get rid of all the walls obviously I will just um, look at the front for now 
there are two things to fix. One is the pieces of wall in between, which have also the shadows, which is why I don't mind having the pieces of wall. Um, and two is this visible piece of the window. The visible piece of the window you can easily get rid of by increasing the platform height of the room itself. And the shadows and the pieces of wall in between, you can get rid of by using any of the debug available items that you place over them. So depending on what you want it to look like, you can use any of these. Yes, these don't fit exactly. I am well aware of that. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but that's why I said for this platform, you might need to use a little more posts. Because the reason you don't have the shadows over there is because the room is not finished. As soon as you remove this wall, you have direct sunlight you have like a missing wall so it removes the shadows the same happens if you remove the ceiling it also removes the shadows so it's perfect to use outside however inside you will have to take a little more measures in order to get rid of the shadows now more importantly we also don't want this nothingness to be visible. So we will want to add some kind of a floor in there. For this, again, I only have base game, so my options are very limited. But I like to use either one of those types of tiles. Or you can use any of the kitchen counters for this purpose. These actually go very well with marble flooring. Now, as you know, this is a platform, so you cannot place anything under there. Or can you? The easiest way is to just go to the basement, turn on the grid, and raise up whatever it is you want to use as a floor below it. So. There. And I want it halfway and to the left there. Okay, now I just need it to be lower. Oops. Wrong button. There. This should be roughly correct but it's not in the right spot not very smart of me there is it too low no no it's all right okay keep in mind you're raising this through the basement which means that um the lighting is a little off sometimes and more importantly you cannot have a basement without um, actually being able to see this when you are inside the basement for me that's not really an issue because i don't use basements so for me this is not really a drawback However, I know a lot of people do love to use basements, so for them, this would be like a major issue. As I said, you can also use one of these. It's the same. You can make them bigger. It makes it a little easier to work with. And you can raise them up to the same height and then just place and 
as you can see it works perfectly as some kind of a floor tile also the color is a little less off on that than on these um, in order to fix this coloring issue you will have to actually build a basement and if you want them to be nicely lit you will have to add lamps yeah. and this will show on the next floor however this will also show when you upload the lot to the gallery all right so now that this is out of the way as i said with the pillars you will want to use to hide these you can do the same so you can go to the basement bring them up and have them at the height you want them to hide these pieces um, this is how you build a floating loft uh, on one level of course I've seen people build it using multiple floors before this is just using one level height as I mentioned before the spiral staircase is a little more finicky so um, I can easily show you by having just a single platform and surrounding it with walls these all right and now we want to add a staircase to this can't intersect with walls so this is the issue that you have with the spiral staircase um, you will need to put staircases over the half wall in order for sims to be able to step on it because i am well aware that you can use staircases to the side of platforms but using a half wall will then um like um not make it possible for the sims to cross from the stairs onto the platform so you will actually have to place them like this here you can't so what you can do is just raise the platform one little bit and then you are able to place it uh, the wall is too low now but that doesn't matter if you're able to place it on there you should be able to also raise the wall height there so there are specific heights that work and specific heights that don't and if you then want to make a spiral staircase of course you will want to do it as tiny as possible and for example make it like this as you can see there are multiple issues here you cannot intersect with stairs because these are on the same tile so they would have to match absolutely perfectly and i can tell you i haven't been able to do that and as well add a wall that's there does not interfere with the staircase so here I have the same issue again so what I did was just use a double platform everywhere so I can avoid the wall issue by just raising this platform one because that wasn't a problem there and then these intersect a bit which is not a problem and then i can actually build this and i did the same for the last platform so this is one wider and i added another one 
So that's how I built the spiral staircase. Um, I also added the windows to get rid of the walls of the platform. As you can see for the lowest one, the windows are not an issue. You just need to replace the floor. But starting with the second one and definitely the highest one, which uses in this case medium level height windows, there is quite a lot of um, um, stuff to take care of there. So you could either choose to put some kind of um, furniture there, for example, a cabinet or some sorts, um, or fix it in some other way. Because keep in mind, here you cannot see the shadows because I had to remove the wall for it to be nicely visible from this lot. Um, but these actually also do have shadows you need to get rid of. Um, so I hope you have fun with this trick. I sure did. Um, and... Have fun building and happy simming.